hi in this video we will see main method in java okay so if a class contains main method or not and the main method is declared as per the requirements or not these things won't be checked by the compiler at run time jvm is responsible to check these things what is that at run time if jvm is not able to find the required main method then we'll get run time exception saying you see that here i just created a class simple class i do not have any main method inside this so when you compile there is no issue it's able to compile but when you run when you're running you see that main method not found in class sample class please define the main method as public static void main so how you write normal main method so it is showing that you need to write something like this in the class okay so at run time you will find this issue so if you talk about uh, main method and this is one of the interview questions like why main method is public static void main okay so why public static void main and string ox so we already discussed about uh, access modifiers so public is a access modifier and it will have full access every class in a, from any package can access this public so because of that to call by jvm from anywhere so to call in from anywhere so we'll create a access modifier as public and the static for the static no need to create an object right no need to create an object to call this okay so without existing object also jvm has to call this method as main method is no way related to any object right so you you created a class without main method you cannot access means you cannot execute anything if you have other methods also if you want to execute those methods you need to call those methods in the main method so then from where you will call the main method right from somewhere it has to start executing right so because of that they declared it is public and no need to create an object to call this execute this method so they made it static every method has to return something so it will return void means it will not return anything main method won't return anything to jvm so void means it will not return anything it will not return anything okay so main method the name main is this is the name which is configured in jvm means so jvm we already pre configured that this is a main method so whenever you find this method with this signature then start your execution from there so that's how it is configured okay and a string ox if you want to pass any command line arguments so you can pass using this string ox we already saw command line arguments also in our previous video so so if you want to pass anything from your co command prompt then with the help of these arguments only you can pass command line arguments so because of these reasons main method is public static void main string ox okay so public means to call by jvm from anywhere if it is public you can access from anywhere static means no need to create an object to call this method so main method will not return anything because of that this is void method the name predefined name this is already configured in java uh, to come uh, to come to know that from where to start the class execution so this string ox is to pass the command line arguments okay so this is the reason behind why main method is public static void main so if you move forward so for main method following changes are allowed or acceptable the order of modifiers is not important okay so public static void main or static public, public void main may not difference you can write um, both the ways okay can declare string argument in any acceptable format okay that we will see instead of args we can take any valid java identifier args will say args but there is no need to put args okay you can give whatever you want 
can replace string with var arg parameter that is you can mention something like this let me so you can mention something like this or string three dots ox both the ways you can do okay so in the same way can declare main method with following modifiers also final synchronize strict fp so you can use these th these things also um with your main method okay so all these things we will see with by taking an example so now if you take an example you see we can put sample class sample class final static synchronized strict fp public void main this is a valid main method syntax if you execute you see it is executing this is a valid main method syntax okay so now we will jump into visual studio code and we'll try to write a sample program and we'll see how the behavior will be okay so as we discussed if the main method is not there we can compile but we cannot run that we will see because of that i have not created any main method here okay so let me compile this java c main method explained dot java main method explain demo sorry so let me copy this one you see that no issues no errors nothing it compiled now if you run this now you see that error main method not found in class main method explain demo please define the main method as public static void main string ox right so this is how you will get an error so now let me put that okay now let me put that so if you execute the same thing again sorry there is a mistake the semicolon so what is the issue sorry <laughs> method this is method not to will not terminate this okay so it's a main method so and then if you try to execute means if you run also nothing happen means there is nothing to print because of that it came out no errors okay so now we will see i'll i'll put a system dot out dot print in it main method explanation something like that okay if you go and execute now okay i can i'll directly execute you see that main method explanation so very normal syntax in the day to day life how we write for each and every program okay what we have seen something this is not needed this is not needed something like that we can do some changes to my main method okay so this these brackets okay these brackets i can cut here i can put here okay that is also valid thing so let me execute you see that main method explain so this square bracket is not mandatory to put after string you can put after ox also that we already discussed in arrays okay this is string array and then there is no need to mention ox i can put simple s otherwise some junk also something like that but it should be meaningful but you can give anything this is just a reference right you can put whatever you want if i run this now i'll not get any error right but it should be some meaningful i can put yes okay even then also it will execute but java normally says that these are arguments so just mention dox that is not a mandatory thing right we can put yes we can put 
anything a b c x y z whatever you want okay so that is also not a problem and that is called where are arguments so you remove that you put three dots here okay so instead of bracket you can do something like that you see that no issues still executing and this order okay this order is also not a problem i said static public void main and let me save and execute you see that no problem right we have seen this syntax square bracket will be after string after the args and there is args is not uh, mandatory you can put anything and this order is also not I means static you can change public static void main or static public void main okay so these many ways you can write your main method and here if you talk about this public static void main right so let me discuss that again so if it is public public means what global visibility okay because of that global visibility you can access from anywhere so main method is public because we need to access from anywhere static static means no need to create an object to call this method okay void means main method will not return anything if you try to return also where you will call the main method you will not call main method from other methods right if you try to call anything for that you need to call that method right we are not calling that method because of that this is void main method will not return anything so main the name of the method and it is defined by java okay internally they they put the main method so whenever you encounter main method start executing from there so because of that public static void main okay the main method is public static void main so this is all about uh, main method so if you go back so what could be the possible inter equations from here so why main method is public static void main we discussed all these things why the name main so this is predefined by java so we cannot change that okay if you change that you will get an error right so that's all about the main method okay thanks for watching this